Hello students, welcome to English 101, section 82W. I'm your instructor, Richard Costa. I'm going to introduce you to a few of the procedures in this course, as well as what we're doing next week, uh, this week, in including our first essay, uh, which is a short summary analysis. So I'm going to give you some pointers here, as well as emphasizing the course procedure. And this short video should I'm aiming to keep it 10 minutes, but we'll see how it goes. For starters, too, we did introductions last week, and judging by all of your self-introductions, I think you'll all find this class beneficial, whether it's to enhance your existing writing skills or address any areas where you have certain weaknesses in your writing skills by virtue of submitting the weekly assignments, doing the essays, and the forum work. Remember, everything should be written in a readable fashion, even forums. Okay, they have to be fully readable and clear and hopefully advance some ideas or thoughts or, or support some conversation ideas. So I look at everything, okay? And if you look at the grade breakdown, you'll see everything has some weight. Obviously, the essays as well as the midterm and final exam have the most weight. And then would be the question answer assignments every week, which we have a lot of. And then would be the forums, which are participation. So it's, it's not enough to just post your answers in the forum. You have to submit two responses, usually within 24 to 48 hours. You could submit them by Friday night, but they are counted late. So after Friday night, everything closes, so you don't have an opportunity to submit anything, whether it's essays, questions, or forums, okay? So be mindful of that as you go forward. I cannot reopen everything every week for everyone, okay? Occasionally I'll work with a student if there's a unique situation, especially concerning question answer assignments or essays. But I really just, I, I keep tight deadlines because it's a writing class and for more reasons which I'll explain and because this is largely training for the workforce and as someone who's written a lot in the workforce, there is, you, you always face with deadlines, okay? When you have to submit a report to your boss or, uh, you know, prepare a brief for a judge, whether you're a lawyer or even a caseworker or to present something, uh, deadlines exist for a reason. Uh, so the stuff you, you do to make excuses and not submit on deadline, or, you know, I realize people have real difficulties too and that kind of thing, but the, uh, what I'm trying to explain is the workplace doesn't care doesn't care um, so I don't take quite that hard an attitude toward it but but I don't take a soft attitude toward it either because this is preparation for the workplace and the workplace it's all performance based okay so and it's all it's very competitive so if you have deadline your writing has to be clear concise accurate and it has to be on time is, is the key so okay so that said I'll get off my uh, um, pitch there and get to it. So first we have, uh, let's see, why don't we just jump into week three and do it this way. Um, week three, there we go. Okay, week three, as you can see, it's showing on the screen, I'm just testing that. So week three entails, just like any other week, a top section that says week the week. It's week three, June 19th, and you're basically submitting your answers to Kelly Young's essay, The Undercurrent, by 1 p.m. on Tuesday, and then you're going to submit the same answers to the forum, and you have to submit your responses to the forum, other students and whatnot, uh, I would say by Wednesday at 9 p.m. or sooner, to do it without getting a, a late deduction, okay? So, that's your first part of it. So it's pretty regular week that way. Uh, Kelly Young's essay is a little bit similar thematically to Amy Tan's. It's about a young woman and her mother. Of course, she's older and some of the concerns are different. Okay, so you also see another assignment which is submitting a summary analysis. Okay, that's your first essay assignment. It's a short one. It's a very precise one and more on that below. That's going to be due on Thursday at 1 p.m. I'm going to give you a little extra time for the essay. 
So you want to start drafting now so you can polish it up and submit it on time or early if you're able to. So when we scroll down, you see the drop box for Kelly Young, the undercurrent questions. They have to be in PDF or MS Word. This is the drop box. The grade book will not accept anything but PDF or a fairly, a fairly recent edition of MS Word. How recent? I don't know, but uh, some older ones have been accepted. So, because then I can correct in the grade box number one, and it comes through in the grade box. So I can't correct your stuff if you put it in some other format. So be mindful of that. There's the forum. Now the difference with the forum is you can attach or cut and paste your answers and such. You don't necessarily have to use the PDF or MS Word. So. Okay, and if we scroll further down, you see that first essay I mentioned, and there's the prompt, which I posted last week as well. It's an attachment. And that has to be in PDF or MS Word as well by Thursday at 1 p.m. or sooner, okay? So just above the first essay, I put a little lecture sort of on key ideas for writing. And aside from editing well and trying to you know, use good paragraph transitions and develop a good thesis. One of the things we talk about in this class is purpose and audience. Now, especially audience, when you write an essay like this, read it aloud to yourself if you have time. Have a friend read it, or a, a spouse, or a husband, or girlfriend, or whatever. So, get some idea of how it's reading and if it makes sense. Because when you write a summary analysis, a summary basically compresses the, the story. It shouldn't be more than, ideally, since it's a very short assignment of, I think, no more than a page and a half or so, double space. You know, the summary shouldn't be more than a quarter, maybe a third of it, okay? It's, you basically, that summary should tell you exactly what, let's say you pick Amy Tan, Amy Tan's story. It should tell you exactly what Amy Tan's story is about. I should be able to read your summary without ever having read Fish Cheeks and know exactly what Fish Cheeks is about, maybe even how it concluded, without reading the full story. So your job is to orient readers to the subject. Same thing if you choose Kelly Young. You only pick one or the other. The rest of the essay is devoted to analyzing it. Okay, so if I pull up the prompt here, so you pick Amy Tan or Kelly Young. Main elements of the su story summary. Again, a summary is basically concise, compact. It's not wordy. It's uh, complete. You know, it has all the main ideas in brief. Okay, it's accurate, and so forth. So that's what a summary does. So the analysis part is the challenging part. Okay. Um, that's where you talk about how the author writes a story, what their main idea is, what the main, in this case because there's stories and there are essays, you might get into the main theme of the story for each of the authors, okay? So you're also going to name the publication it appeared in and discuss the author's intended audience. That's relatively easy to find out. As, as you summarize it. So you orient the reader to what it's about. So for instance, Fish Cheeks was written in 1987 in a magazine called Seventeen for uh, teenage girls. So I had a she had a very specific audience, didn't she? So you're going to include a thesis statement at the beginning. You're going to use textual evidence supporting quotes without overwhelming your essay with quotes, cause especially because it's a short essay you're writing. Okay. Now your summary analysis should also, when you get into the analysis part, what, what do you talk about? Well, you can talk about audience and genre a bit. Who was Amy Tan's audience? What was her genre? You know, this is really what we call a short narrative. It's more of a story than an essay. There is a difference. So there's that. What kind of word choice did she use? Her adjectives, her use of figurative language. Uh, she has an interesting structure and organization. She uses very good transitions in each paragraph to move it forward. You know, uh, I forget them precisely, but uh, after dinner, she starts one, something like that. She starts one transition like that. Then the guests arrive, that kind of thing. So she uses very good transitions. It's very compact. She put a whole lot of story into an extremely short space, which uh, shows she has some talent. And 
you know, thematically, she, she writes a lot about mothers and daughters, so it's kind of a recurring theme with her, okay? So, and use some supporting quotes. Now, at the end of your summary analysis, you're going to include another few sentences, the brief paragraph, doing something which uh, we call metacognition. You explain what your summary analysis does well and why it is more than just a summary. Because sometimes students just write a big summary on this, and it can be written perfectly, but it's not really doing fully what the assignment's asking for. So that should be a separate several sentences to paragraph, okay? And I give you a little opening example of a thesis at the bottom of the prompt, so review the prompt carefully. So, But the metacognition, you're supposed to say, uh, you know, why is it more than a, the events in a story, okay? You, you could also write about what your strengths are in that metacognition and what your weaknesses are, what you did well and what you didn't do well and that kind of thing. So I'll have you do that a lot with your essays, okay? So you're thinking about what you're writing. You're thinking, of, you know, when you write something and you, you're struggling or maybe you're, you know, you're bored with it, you, you know, think about publishing this in the BCC newspaper or on the BCC website or somewhere else where a lot of people would see it and read it and, you know, want to read your summary analysis of Amy Tan or Kelly Young and kind of look at it as a job in that sense. Well, I got to use this summary part to orient them to the subject, then explain what the author does uniquely well, okay? So your essays will get bigger and a, a little more in depth after this. So this, this is really your first warm-up essay assignment, if you will. So that said, uh, let me return to the main screen for a minute. Also, again, remember to put it in PDF or MS Word. So now the, the format for each week, as you just saw, we had, well, no, let me go back here. Uh, when you get to the bottom here, this is the for next week section. You know, some weeks are heavy, some are uh, less heavy. Next week, you only have an essay, I think. I think that's it. Uh, Grant and Lee, a study in contrast. It's about uh, two Civil War generals. In questions, whereas this week you had a, a bit more to do, didn't you? An essay and questions, answer and forum. So, so for next week, the Bruce Catton question and forums, you see right there, it's attached. Now, why do I show you this? Because we're on Saturday, June 17th, and this thing isn't due till, let's see, that'll be t till the 27th. That Bruce, Bruce Catton one is not due to the 27th before next week, okay? You have 10 days to deal with this. Not bad, okay? You got a lot of time, so. And I realize you're gonna be busy with this stuff first, Kelly Young, um, in the first essay, but you still have a lot of time to get into the, it's not a terribly, terrible lot of work in reading, but it's kind of very focused and precise. So it's kind of tricky sometimes. Oh, that's short, it's not a big deal. But you gotta answer questions, you wanna understand it, all these, essays are going to be fair and especially the definitions too are going to be fair game on your midterm and final exam so you got to engage with these readings so it's more than just reading it and putting it down so that's why you use this for next week section um, so you're not just picking up the work on, on monday of, of the week it's due and then and trying to rush it out real quick you know unless you're a really good quick study sometimes students can do that but you're going to do your best work if you give yourself time i find it's true of any writer okay so, that said, I thought I'd keep you under 10 minutes. I failed. It's a little over 13 and a half minutes. But I will end by saying you can email me anytime if you have any questions. I'll see if I can post some more videos like this. Um, if need be, I can be available on Zoom sometimes within, depending on the day of the week, sometimes within an hour, sometimes within a day, depending on you and I schedule. Uh, it's not a zoom class we don't have that requirement in here so i don't normally routinely do it i deal with most things by email but certainly it can be done i've already done it uh in the semester so and i frequently i usually do a few times a semester with some students so uh, that said um again i um, will be available online and look for your results and responses this week and have a good weekend and i'll see you all online